Hey guys, hi, uh, and girls, of course. Uh, Crypto Sniper here. We are just updating you on around roughly 3.1k views uh, on this particular Bitcoin uh, YouTube, where we're asserting that up to uh, the 4250 level would be run um, before we would have a look at a down leg um, on Bitcoin. This was in and around uh, the 36. This was two weeks ago when we called for around 36 for those levels that was referenced in there. Uh, and this was the, the falling wedge where we said an impulsive move will come to the upside potentially. And uh, so here we go. Let's see how it's gone um, so far. Now, Bitfinex has been slightly higher than um, the other exchanges and also because of the leverage a little skippier. In fact, before I jump onto this chart, which is the current standing, I'll just go through the, the morning. Um, in our premium uh, website where I've just uh, shared uh, some files, I was actually doing one of my accelerator guys uh, teams uh, updates and this is what happened. We were suggesting here that we've had a good up move and it's made the 4250 and in fact we were starting to see a shooting star structure there. It's made the 4250 as you can see there's 4259 as it stood at that moment. So that uh, it reached almost a higher aspect of our range, our expected range. And then we were making a rising wedge across the tops here from there, there, there and here again. This has been a nice uh, climb um, and very few big selling days in the up legs. We had that period where we were waiting for the bull flag continuation and it built a flat bottom and had a few false attempts up and down, up and down, up and then a little bit back. This was in the channel, the blue channel. So it broke the rising of the falling wedge, my apologies in red, it broke the falling wedge bumped up against the channel and then, then just sit back the way it built up a head of steam before it was ready to let it go. And then followed through all the way uh, after it continued out of uh, the bull flag that we had over here, it followed through quite nicely uh, with just one or two, uh, one skippy day before in fact today. So this was for me this uh, my morning and uh, that was a, a rising wedge where the expectation now is for a sell off move. We've done a draw during that session. In fact, we were doing gradient analysis, which is something which is kind of specific to how we trade. But um, then these were the up legs in purple and the down legs in red. This, the expectation was for that red uh, arrow down there. And it's interesting, it's just been out for a bit and checking in. So I'm just keeping a, a watching remit. Um, I'm not over fascinated. It's not yet at, at the point where we're expecting the trade we want. Uh, Bitcoin. Let's stay on the Bitcoin chart. In fact, let's go back, sorry, one more time um, to the Crypto Journal. We're just updating the premium guys and give you a small uh, look-see about how um, our platform is. Um, sort of WhatsApp design without the Facebook uh, staring over your shoulder. Um, you subscribe to that which you want and you get notifications like that on your phone as well with the app. Anyway, that was uh, the morning one with the draw on the rising wedge just a little earlier. And now that was the subsequent one, as you can see. Um, got a little bit of delay there. Uh, that's the subsequent one, which brings us up to uh, the charts now. Just updated the guys uh, with a loom and the more detailed thoughts at a HVF level, but for general YouTube followers, that was expected by us after we got into that range. This was the chart I was looking for um, with the 3.9 starting at 4K to the 4.250 range. So this has now been met. The continuation uh, here, the, the squaring up, the break, the reassertion and the 4K to 4.250 range now has been done. And as a result, uh, this is a stale out area. Remember the, the snapback rally with great momentum after the lows of Bitcoin post the 6,500 fall. Um, had all the snapback and everyone was uh, short in the relief. That was its highest strength and it just made it up to around 4, 3, uh, 80s on uh, various platforms. It might have been not as much on Coinbase, for example, Coinbase showing a 4, 2 here. So this is only going to be around the 4, 2, uh, 50s. But for next, a little bit higher. So compare like for like when you're looking at the exchanges. Please remember that um, there are differences in that. 
Um, anyway, so back to back to uh, what what comes next. Well, what comes next is first of all, I wouldn't know, but I do have probability based assessments, and my assessment is that we continue to uh, work our way back down somewhere around the levels over here. I would say the upper three sixes potentially, um, and maybe into the three fives, depending on the momentum of the down line. So roughly 3,750 to uh, 3,550. Uh, if we go much below 3,550 and threaten the support that was formed on this dual bottom over here, um, that would be quite a bearish uh, signal. So if I were to be talking uh, again, I would say 3.7 down to here. You just had a major snapback, slap in the face event. So quite likely that in fact, subsequently you get some weak rallying uh, a little bit up. So if you, if you, you know, if you comment on this video tomorrow and it's trading up, we're not necessarily inaccurate. The point is you've just had a major sell off. You traded today at 4.282. Uh, at one point in the day, the day isn't yet over, and you also traded at three eight one five at one point. So that is a four hundred dollar um, can you know candle of an, in a single day, which for Bitcoin's current valuation is pretty pretty high. It's over ten percent of of its move at current val at three eight eight. Uh, so a, a, an easing period. So for those of you that made a little bit in the long time, now is not the time to be buying the dip. I think you could be buying better, lower. Um, and in fact, um, I wouldn't tactically trade this short too much, but I do think it will trade lower. Uh, reason why, because if this is a turning event, we might not come as far down. We might only kiss, say, uh, moderate 3750s or just above that if it was really strong um, and then it could start rallying again and squeeze and form an ascending type triangle structure for continuation. So given that this has the whiff of a potential spring for Bitcoin with the strength here and this pretty decent rally strength, um, we would still be slightly biased uh, bull for the short and medium note the short and medium that doesn't mean the super macro and the, 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 the well the macro bears all but signed to death if this came down really hard and came down really flat and low and then just had a weak rally um, we could be facing downside continuation again so this the information we're going to get out of this sell-off move is going to guide our biases on direction quite strongly and given that it's had two strong up legs and this was at the high end of the range Despite this being a nasty little poke in the eye, um, the bias would still probably, for this overall structure, imply that we could be setting up for a first setup structure in a, in, in a bull stroke recovery period on your medium time frame and your short time frames. The, super, the, the here and now, actually, weak rally, I would say, maybe bear flag. We had a bull flag here, remember? Bull spike, drift and spike. You could go upside drift. So if I was to draw this with a little bit of pen, um, a scenario, and this is one of many potential scenarios in terms of how things may go down, how things may sell off, is you get a little bit of a bear flag rally. And again, another sell off. You get much like we had here. We then started to get small fractals with falling over lines. Um, each one probing a little lower, a little lower, and then failure to get much lower, and then you get your selling exhaustion um, like that. And we pointed out how these patterns had a lot in similar with themselves. So you could get something again like that. Um, so we, you know, if I was to just mimic drawing something a little bit sell off. A little bit sell off. And then a little bit of basing and then potentially a first uh, impulsive move. And then this is the range where, it, once again, I would say 3750 does 3450, maybe 35. So that would be the range for me. 3750, call it 3450. Uh, that would be a bit deep and a bit uh, alarming. It would be at the low end of the range. 
but we have just had a move at the high end of the range so this is pretty decent effort so I would expect the 3450 is not too likely but that would be the, the range with somewhere in here being your sweet spot which is 3550 to 3650 your sweeter spot but there'll be some variance in there so overall that's my take uh, for that and I ideally for the bulls you don't want this to happen too quickly and I know it's going to be frustrating and a bleed out it'll be like this falling wedge you had the lots of people saying oh it's like watching paint dried uh, with crypto right now all during here and here that's exactly what I want to hear because those are those low volatility moments where nothing seems to be happening here was when some of the big commentators said it and over here that's when i know it's about to do a major reassert uh to the upside so this could go down then sudden sell-offs then you know grinding sudden sell-offs um so that's that's my guidance uh, overall uh, for here on a probability scenario so it's going to be an easing how far will it ease we will see this start was quite brutal but remember we've already had a candle of similar, brut similar brutality over here slightly longer in fact but in between that there was a lot of pushback and green candles this was on the break of a grind line you'll learn about that on a program by the way we have a free webinar coming up um, feel free to register for that I think it is the 27th um, of February and pop on to the marketsniper.com and register there and there will also be an offer for those that wish to learn more and, do, and, be, and contemplate being part of our community or either just to get access to our self-study materials to learn how to do HVF method for yourself. Um, anyway, that all said, yeah, so selling off, basing out um, and that's what I would expect on balance of probabilities. How will we prove wrong? Well, if we get a sudden rally and this runs and takes out this high, that would mean we've been inaccurate and we're not getting continuation either first setup uh, continuation to the upside or downside continuation um, if it comes down really brutally hard and continues with that in momentum um, we would we might uh, switch to a bear bias but in the meat so far if I just were to use a different color uh, so far I would say actually for now on this time frame, remember we're on the, the daily and the four hourly. That was quite a decent snap. And that was quite a decent snap. But just so that people don't get too giddy and think I'm getting too bullish. If you uh, look at this all in the context in terms of how those gradients of those blue areas went up. If you look at this all in terms of the context of where we've been. It's quite feasible for us still just to be having a rally period in the bear market. So that danger hasn't gone away. We are very ambidextrous. We're very nimble. We're ready to flip um, bullish on, a, uh, on, a, on, on the short and medium time and flip back bearish as fast. So just to rescale this chart for you, don't forget from whence we came. Brutal sell-off of three thousand dollars in very very short succession so this is just whipping around put that in scale you need context there is plenty scope for further downside and i've mentioned before and i'll mention it one more time again that if this doesn't get away and could and get some proper steam there's still on the other currencies and gold um dollar was slightly different because of the fed's fake out uh, with in increasing rates. It didn't last long and they quickly swallowed uh, and did a U-turn on that. But it did have a period of strength that broke up the structure of our pattern. But on others, um, we actually have um, sub a thousand euro, sub a thousand pound uh, potential for Bitcoin. Just because you've created that structure doesn't mean you're going to go there. Um, but a reversion bear and a very nasty sell-off coming steeply down um, could indeed put that back in play. So this is an interim phase. We're waiting for the market strength and momentum swings to give us greater level of conviction on direction. Um, but for now, it does have a small amount on the medium time frame, as I've suggested, potential still mild bias for it to be bullish after a down leg here to the 3600 range, the, 3, 5, uh, the 3450 to 3750, the $300 range that sits there. If we run the lows, we could be in trouble again on the bigger time frames. 
Okay, hope that's useful for you. And uh, see you on the webinar if it suits. Trading's not for everybody. Um, in fact, it's emotional, can be hard. Um, but to me, it's a journey of a lifetime. Uh, you will not come out the same person that went in. Um, you will learn where your greatest weaknesses are and you will have the potential to make great money once you have absorbed the skill. Okay, enjoy guys, enjoy, enjoy, and let's see what the crypto market brings, uh, brings for us. Thanks for watching.